So today I'm doing a oil change on the gearbox and diff using Mutual um, 7590 um, also replacing so it's a GL4 for the gearbox and a GL5 for the diff so two for the gearbox one for the diff and the um, I'm putting new drain plug washers on these are crush washers they're M18s got them cheaply off eBay so let's see how this goes so looking at the rear diff first you've got the um, two bolts here this is your drain and this is your fill plug so basically undo that one obviously drain the oil old oil out put a new washer on do that one back up and then when you're filling take this one off and you basically fill it until it starts to drip out of the top that's when it's full and that's when you put the uh, drain plug back in or the fill plug back in 24 mil socket and we're going to undo that uh, drain plug so obviously put some container um, to drain your oil underneath your drain and then I've just undone that one and drain that out it's actually quite fresh oil in this I'm trying a different oil um, for a couple of reasons well one of the main ones is I seem to have quite a lot of transmission or drivetrain noise it might just be in my head, but I'm just going to try a different oil and see if it quietens it down a bit. So this is the drain plug. It has a magnet on it to catch any debris and stuff. You may find a bit of build-up on here. If it's normally, if there's some build-up and it's smooth like a paste, then that, that's absolutely fine. But if you find sort of bits of metal start being attached to that, then it could be an indication of something starting to go wrong. But this one seemed okay. Right, so these are... They aren't flat washers, these are crush washers. So what will happen is they're basically one use only and um, it'll go on there, you'll do it up and it will flatten and crush to make a seal and then obviously the next time you need to put a new one on. So that's what I'm going to be using today. So once your oil's pretty much dripped all the way out, um, you're always going to get a little drip. You're just trying to be as quick as possible with this bit. And so clean it up, get your new, so it started dripping already, get your new plug. Always hard one-handed. There we go. And then do that up snug. I will try and look up the actual torque wrench setting and put it on the screen. So what I found with doing um, oil change previously is um, sometimes you get the bottles with the, the tube so you can squeeze it in. But the problem is the angle you're trying to do it into the diff or the gearbox, a lot of the time you can only get about half of the bottle out before you can't squeeze any more out. So it becomes a big juggling act trying to fill bottles up to try and get half out, that kind of thing. So on Amazon, I've got this big syringe. This is a 200 centiliter syringe. I'll put the link in the description of the video. Um, the first time I'm going to use it. So basically you're going to syringe um, out the oil that way and then with this, I can bend it into the thing and then obviously syringe it into the diff and not have any sort of wasted oil at the back bottom of bottles and things like that. So hopefully that'll go all right. So that's how the syringe has worked. I've sucked out uh, nearly 200 centiliters of oil. So there's the end of the plunger syringe that's in the top fill hole. I pushed all the uh, oil that was in there and that's how well that works. So really pleased with that, it makes the job a lot easier. So I filled that top bolt, the one up there, um, until the oil just starts dripping down the back face of the diff. That's your um, thing to say it's full. So wipe it off as much as you can, put the new crush washer on the bolt and then do that up. And that is the diff oil um, all sorted. So on the gearbox, that lower one in the right hand corner, that is your drain. And then on the top left is your fill. So the same as the diff, undo your drain, drain out your oil. Put a new plug back in with a new washer and everything and then uh, fill it up until it starts to drip out the top fill i've got the syringe full of the oil and i'm obviously just pushing that into that top fill hole and like i said as soon as you start seeing some drip down the side then that's full